between the last video and this video, um, I've just done a few little, a few more um, additions to this. I just put some more highlighted text in and uh, embolden a few things and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm going to show you now how we put a few more headlines in. And one of the things I want to do is to put things like a special free bonus. I want to put that into a headline and that sort of stuff. So we'll quickly go back into the landing page uh, back end, the administration side of it. And we look at things like this. Um, this special free bonus and we quite simply go into uh, paragraph and hit on one of the headlines. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try a few out. So I want to try this headline three out which I know is red and smaller and just see if it's actually any good for this. So it's obviously done something there. So I'm just going to update and this is what we do. We go back through to the admin side to uh, actually look at the page and you know update it and look at the page, see if it looks right. If it doesn't, we'll change it. Um, that looks pretty good. I quite like that. And what we'll do is we'll we'll centre it now. So we know we can use um, the headline three to do those. So let's just take that and we'll centre it. Okay, so we've got that now, so that's centered. And the other ones that I wanted to do in the same sort of way, one in red and one in black, is uh, if I take this one here, I want to put this as a headline. With this WordPress landing page theme, you can create the perfect landing page every single time. And I want to put that in. Uh, again, I'll do that in the H3, which is that, and I'm going to have to highlight it again, and I'm going to center it. Okay, and if I just update, just to see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks really good. I quite like that. Can you see what we're doing though? This is not an exact science. This is about art in a way. This is about um, uh, something that's pleasing on the eye. That's something that grabs the attention. Uh, it's like, for instance, just going down here. Uh, what I want to do is maybe put something like uh, this one here, I quite like this one as a headline as well because again it's staging down the page and I think that as a headline, maybe in black this time uh, yeah okay so what we'll do is uh, it's okay. so we go back into the admin section and go back and we find it, that's the one we want to do and we'll do this one in H4 because as we've said if you can remember we didn't this, the headline one is large red, headline two is large black, headline three is a smaller red, we've just used that one, and headline four is a smaller black, so let's click on headline four. Okay, so that's taken that, and all we want to do is, so oh, it's already centered, okay, that's excellent, okay. And that is centered. That looks fantastic. That looks really, really good. So now what we need is a data capture box. So let's go back in here. I want to show you that this is so, so stupidly simple. What I've done is I configured this whole uh, landing page. So it just makes it really, really simple for you to do this. So what we need, uh, obviously, is our codes page. And this is our data capture form. This is our Aweber form. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the script and this could be as I say any data capture software uh, it could be eye contact or uh, constant contact any of those and we're going to make sure we're in the HTML side because we're adding code and we'll just go down to the bottom and we'll put that in there and we we'll just literally paste that in uh, okay so update our page and view down to the bottom and 
there is our Aweber form already in the bottom. Now that looks fine. You could leave it just like that, but we're not going to leave it like that. What we're going to do is we're going to put a yellow highlighted box around it, and we're going to put some text in the box just to uh, push people further into purchasing or um, doing the conversion that you want, which in this case is actually lead generation. And to do that, we go back into the admin area and we go all the way down to the bottom again and highlight the JavaScript from Aweber. And at the top here, there's something called B quote, which is back quote. And what we're going to do is, we, well, I've configured this to be a yellow box with a red dashed highlight all around the end. So again, it's all configured for you. Um, it's all part of the theme. And you just hit that and it puts these this little uh, HTML tags in block quote so I'm just gonna tidy this up because we're gonna put some uh, some text in here as well but I just wanted to show you what the block quote looked like so again if we update the page and view the page go down to the bottom and there by magic is that yellow box with the red highlight around it and all we're going to do now is we're going to put some text in now the text we're going to put in is this is on my uh, actually this is on this one here this is what we've been before I'm going to put this in I want to put that and I want to put that at the bottom of it so this one this is going to go at the top so I'm just going to copy that and go back into yeah, and again we're, we're still in the HTML side of it and I just want to put that into there so what are you waiting for into your details blah 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 and the way we're going to do this again I want to quickly go to HTML uh, sorry to the visual side now I want to show you something that you're if you've not done <coughs> excuse me if you've not done this before um, might take you a bit of by surprise the first time you see this you'll notice that Although in the HTML side we have the Aweber form in here and you've seen it actually on the page, you've seen it on the page uh, when we've gone to uh, update the page and view the page, but you'll notice that in the WYSIWYG visual format at the back end of WordPress you won't see it and that's because it's JavaScript, it just doesn't show it. So you have to remember it's there. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just separate those out for a second. And I'm going to make that a headline. And I'm going to do that to H3 because it's smaller but red. I quite like that. Okay, so we've got that. And this one we're going to do some, uh, just put some bold in. So again, we're going to do Control B because it's a really easy way of doing it. So I'm going to do uh, to there, and I'm going to do free access, and I'm going to do 27 minute video tutorial, and I think that's a better one I'm going to do for that one. Cool. Now I'm going to take that and I'm going to center. So let's have a quick look, see what that looks like. Now what we should have now is some text within the yellow box because that's where we put it and it is beautiful that's exactly what I wanted the last piece of text that I wanted to put into here is we respect your privacy no, that's fine we respect your privacy we will never sell rent or pass your details on to third parties which is absolutely true copy that now again we just go back into the admin side, go back into here. Now I can't tell where I'm putting this. So what we do is we go to the HTML side and find out where we're actually going to put this. Now we need to put this within the block quote uh, but after the script. So again we just stick it straight in there. Now to center it we're going to go back into the visual side go back down here and you'll see that that's where that text is so 
logically this area is where your JavaScript is for your opt-in form. As I say, in this you can't see it, so you just got to be careful what you're doing. If you have any doubts, um, then go to the HTML side of it. So we're just going to center that text. I just want to go back into this HTML side so you understand what I'm, where I'm coming from here. So we have block quote, we have the title, the H3 title, we've then got uh, enter your details below again again you can see this is centered okay and it goes all the way down to here so that's the text underneath it that's got sort of uh, bold so you can see where it says strong here um, then you've got this JavaScript okay and then you've got we respect your privacy block quote okay so you can see that that's the way it works and all you've got to do is make sure that it is in that format um, okay so there we go right now in the next video we're going to show you how to do a few things like um, just tidy it up just we're going to put some uh, stuff in the footer here and we're going to show you how to just create another page uh, because with Aweber you're obviously going to be using um, a thank you page and the rest of it so we're just going to show you how to do that and that's it the last video is on its way